knowing your child is sick is a terrible thing, but finding out you're going to lose her is impossible to comprehend. Fox 29's Karen Hepp shows us how one family in that tragic position is helping ease the pain for others. Kelly was my firstborn, and um, she was born on New Year's Eve. She was a good baby. You know, she was just a really uh, a great, easygoing baby. I used to call her Moose because she was rough and tough. But soon, life for the Dolan family would be forever changed. One morning, I went to get her out of her crib, and I, when I looked at her, she didn't look pale like my mother said she looked. And she didn't look fair the way I had been saying she looked. She had a grayish hue about her. And I just got this weird feeling. Kellyanne was diagnosed with aplastic anemia. Instead of spending time on a playground, she spent time in a hospital isolation room until things got much worse. Kelly's uh, condition changed after five years. Um, it evolved into a very rare form of leukemia. In the summer of 1976, she was six and a half years old at that time. Uh, my husband and I had to sit in a conference room on the ninth floor of Children's Hospital with a team of doctors and nurses and a social worker to hear them tell us that this rare form of leukemia was going to take her life <laughs> within a matter of three months. The doctors were right. Kellyanne lost her battle just a few months later, but through it all, Peggy Dolan always considered herself lucky. I was lucky, number one, that I, I wasn't single, that I had a husband, that we had my parents to count on, that we had insurance, that we had money to buy the kids gifts, you know, money to keep our life still in, uh, on an even keel. But what Joe and Peggy learned during Kellyanne's illness was there was far too many families who weren't lucky. Staying by their child 24-7 meant hardship. They created the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund to help. A lot of our families are in crisis. Um, they're, they're worried about paying their bills. How are they gonna you know, make up some hours at work? And what we really try to do is, is help them so that they can focus on the child. So for more than 40 years, the fund has helped 27,000 families. Whether it's paying an important bill, getting a ventilator or special adaptive equipment, or even a car to help them get to their child's doctor's appointments, the fund's given these families hope and a little bit of breathing room. Just giving us that chance to catch up and not be stressed about bills and money that we weren't getting, um, getting paid, and we've been really stressed about it. So this has really helped us in, in that way to kind of take the pressure off let's be able to help her in every way we can the dolan fund is also about giving these families joy a chance to spend a day at longwood gardens or the spirit of philadelphia's family fun day oh to be able to help these kids and see something they just light up they see the chair massage and they're they're so excited they're like wow can i get one of those and we're like absolutely and the parents are like oh i can just distress for five minutes without interruption and it, it just i love being able to do this Fox 29 is proudly partnered with the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund this year to help as many families as possible. And you can help as well by adopting a family. The Dolan Fund is looking for unwrapped toys for kids up to 18 years old or Target or Walmart gift cards. Drop them off at the Wissahickon Firehouse on December 5th and 6th. Good Day will be there live on December 6th until 10 a.m. For more information, head to fox29.com or call 215-643-0763. Six, three. And thank you for joining us tonight. Fox 29 News at 11 is next.